How to replace the thermal paste in a laptop At the request of fans, today we're replacing the thermal paste on the S's ROG Strix G15 2022. Let's reduce the CPU temperature by 12.1 degrees in 6 simple steps, easily improving your laptop's performance. Tutorials for replacing and upgrading thermal paste on laptops are available in the main tutorial collection on our homepage. You can also comment with your model if you need specific guidance. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Step 1. Get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2. Remove the laptop case and battery. Before you start disassembling the computer, it's highly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves or an anti-static wristband to eliminate static electricity. Place your laptop face down. Use a PH00 screwdriver to remove all 10 screws on the bottom cover in a diagonal order. Note that there are three short screws at the bottom edge. It's advised to use a magnetic mat to avoid mixing or losing screws. Prepare a triangular pry tool and a spudger. Insert the triangular pry tool into the side seam. Slide it along the edges to carefully lift the bottom cover. Be mindful of the connection between the light strip and the laptop body and place the bottom cover in a safe position. Use two spudgers to disconnect the power cable by gently pushing both sides of the connector outward. After disconnecting the power supply, use a spudger to open the switch for the light strip cable connection. Use tweezers to remove the plastic clip layer by pulling it outward. Repeat the same for the other side to disconnect the light strip. Then carefully remove the bottom cover. Step 3. Remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Use a spudger to disconnect the fan cables on both sides. Remove the screw securing the fans, three on each side. And gently lift the fans. Remove the 11 screws securing the heat sink. Use a high quality screwdriver, such as the Cooling Monster Combo 01, and apply vertical pressure to prevent stripping the screws. Gently lift the heatsink from both sides, being cautious as the right side may get caught on the power cable. To clean the old thermal paste more efficiently, we recommend using Cooling Monster Clean 01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can use the disposable gloves included in our kit. Here you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after years of use, reducing its cooling efficiency. It needs timely replacement. Clean off the old thermal paste thoroughly from the heat sink. Step 4. Clean the fan. Use an anti-static brush and compressed air for cleaning. Gently lift the fans and use the brush to remove dust from the blades. When using compressed air, maintain a small distance to avoid spraying liquid. Clean the heatsink thoroughly.
and don't forget to remove dust from the back panel. Step 5, apply thermal paste. Here we used cooling Monster Cold with 01 high performance thermal paste. Apply an appropriate amount of thermal paste on the surfaces of the CPU and GPU. After applying the thermal paste, you can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the pea size method if you like. Step 6, reassemble your laptop. Gently place the heatsink back and secure it with the 11 screws. Tighten the screws diagonally in sequence to 70% tightness first, and then fully tighten them after all screws are in place to avoid over tightening. Reattach the fans and secure them with three screws on each side. Reconnect the fan power cables on both sides. Place the cover back in position and reconnect the light strip cables using tweezers, then close the switch with the spudger. Finally, reconnect the power cable to the motherboard with the spudger. Replace the back cover of the laptop, ensure all clips are secured, and reinsert the 10 screws on the back cover. Congratulations, you are done! Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.